Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone So for this video, kita akan tengok second part of amino acid Okay, so kita akan tengok in detail reaction of amino acid with HCl NaO, NaNO2 with HCl So ini adalah nitrous acid And also reaction with alcohol in the presence of acid catalyst Ini adalah esterification Okay, next kita akan tengok the formation of peptide bond. Okay, so now kita akan tengok reaction with HCl. So, we already know that amino acid adalah amphoteric. Okay, so kalau dekat sini kita ada this amino acid, bahagian sini akan act sebagai acid and this side NH2 will be your base. Okay, so kalau lah kamu react with HCl which is acid, so acid dia akan donate ataupun dia akan beri its proton dia akan beri H plus ni so siapa yang akan accept acid ke ataupun base so proton acceptor is base so maksudnya dekat NH2 part ni dia akan terima ataupun accept H plus ion daripada acid ni so Maksudnya dekat bahagian COH ni tak akan ada perubahan. Dia akan remain unchanged lah. So bahagian tengah ni alpha carbon dengan your side chain here. Tak akan ada perubahan. Yang hanya ada perubahan hanyalah on the amino part. Amino NH2 part tu saja. You akan dapat NH3. And sini NH3 plus lah. Terkira balik dia punya formal charge. 5 valence electron tolak 4 dapat positive 1. So 4 tu means electron around the nitrogen ada 4. So untuk dapatkan salt kita tulis je dekat sebelah ni Cl minus. Okay. Or you can write it in this way. NH3 plus Cl minus dekat bahagian sini lah. Alright, so for this reaction with NaO, sodium hydroxide, kamu akan dapat salt juga. Okay, so you know that sodium hydroxide is a base, so dia akan react with acid part dekat amino acid tu lah. So, dekat base, you know that base dia akan accept proton. So, dia nak accept proton daripada siapa? Daripada this acid COH. So, COH part ni dia akan donate its proton. Okay. So, dia akan jadi C double bond O O minus and then your OH dengan H ni akan release sebagai water molecule. So, you akan dapat salt. Okay. So, this is your salt lah from this reaction and release water molecule. Okay, so now kita tengok reaction with nitrous acid. So, ini kita baru je belajar in previous chapter, amine. So, ini untuk menghasilkan HNO2 which is your nitrous acid and mesti prepared in situ. So, maksudnya kena tulis plus NaNO2 with HCl at 0 to 5 degree celsius so kamu akan dapat empat produk here kamu akan dapat first alcohol and then this is alkyl halide and this is your alkene C double bond C and you akan release nitrogen gas ok so sama sahaja dengan uh, dalam chapter amine yang kita belajar baru-baru ni so, you akan dapat empat produk here. When you have primary aliphatic amine, kamu akan dapat alcohol, alkyl halide, alkin dan juga nitrogen gas. Okay, so now kita tengok esterification. So, untuk amino acid, since dia ada bahagian amino dan also carboxyl group here. So, uh, remember bila kita ada carboxylic acid, Dengan alkohol Kita akan react both untuk dapatkan Ester Tu adalah proses esterification And this is also a famous reaction Selain daripada 
upgrade nut reagent so make sure kamu betul-betul faham this esterification this part of your carboxyl group akan react with this part of your ethanol alcohol lah any alcohol so dia akan release H2O molecule so OH daripada COH and hydrogen daripada your ethanol this akan combine to form water molecule so you akan buat bond baru between this carbon and this oxygen so kamu akan dapat C double bond O O so this is your ester Right, so let's have a look at this example. So, kalau kamu ada this proline, okay, um, masih lagi, this part adalah your COH and you ada this alcohol. So, apa yang akan jadi, OH part and hydrogen from your alcohol akan combine to form water molecule and you akan buat bond baru between this carbon and this oxygen ok right so next kita nak tengok formation of peptide bond in dipeptide ok so peptide bond tu nanti kita akan tengok apa tu peptide bond and kalau dipeptide it means you have two amino acid lah combine together Okay, so when you have two amino acid reacting together, dia boleh yang sama jenis, same, same amino acid ataupun different amino acid. Okay, so when you have them reacting together, a water molecule will be eliminated and you akan form dipeptide. Okay, combination of two amino acid tu lah. So this is your dipeptide. And this process is called as condensation. Okay, so let's say you have this alanine dengan alanine. So, kamu punya dipeptide ni, nama dia adalah ala ala. ALA dash ALA. Okay, so maksudnya it's combination between alanine and also alanine. Okay, so contohlah kalau kamu combine glycine with alanine. So, nama dia akan jadi gly ala. Okay, so nanti kita akan tengok example after this lah. Alright, so back to this question. Uh, you akan remove water molecule in between here. So, OH tu datang daripada mana? Datang daripada your COOH part. So, hydrogen datang daripada your NH2 part. So, kita akan remove water molecule Hydrogen dan OH di tengah ni. So, kamu akan dapat H2O molecule and you akan form a new bond between this carbon straight to this nitrogen. So, inilah kamu punya peptide bond. Okay. So, make sure kalau nak label peptide bond, kamu you can label it this way. Okay, ataupun you tarik begini ok so this is your dipeptide ala ala ok so kita akan tengok uh, dia punya singkatan before this I've already introduced to you kalau contoh histidine kita akan singkatan dia adalah his ok so kalau ala ni singkatan dia the first three words tu lah ala alright so, let's have a look at another example. Let's say you have alanine dengan cysteine. So, ini akan jadi ala cis. So, macam mana? Uh, bila kamu nak tulis, make sure you ikut dia punya arrangement. Kalau ala cis, maksudnya on the left hand side mesti alanine and on the right hand side mesti cysteine. Okay, sebab kalau kamu terswish them, Okay, kamu akan dapat a different dipeptide. Okay, so nanti kita akan tengok that example lah. So, uh, maksudnya, you draw this alanine and then OH tu akan di-remove from this C double bond O, OH. 
ok, so color cysteine pula you akan remove this hydrogen so, you akan releasekan water molecule here so, you akan form this dipeptide bond here sorry, you akan form peptide bond between this carbon dengan nitrogen so, this is your peptide bond Ok, so next kita tengok example Kalau you nak form cis ala You must write cysteine on the left hand side And then kamu tulis alanine on the right hand side So, from this To form this combination You mesti buang OH Daripada carboxyl punya part here And then you akan remove hydrogen from this amino part so, you akan release this two as water molecule. You akan dapat form this peptide bond dekat tengah ni. Between carbon and this nitrogen. Okay, so boleh nampak eh. Beza dia. Ini adalah formation of alasis. Ini dia punya structure. And kalau cis ala, this is the structure. Okay, dia lain. Tak sama. So, let's have a look at this example. So, write the reaction between the phenylalanine and glycine to produce phagli. Okay, so maksudnya, you mesti tulis phenylalanine dulu and then barulah tulis glycine. So, you akan remove this water molecule to form this dipeptide. Okay, so this is your answer. And kalau soalan minta show the peptide bond, kamu just show lah. Ini adalah dia punya formation of peptide bond. Okay. So, boleh tulis dia punya side product as well. H2O. This is the structure of fagli. Okay. So, that's all untuk amino acid. Next, kita akan tengok the last chapter in your syllabus which is polymer.